Well, welcome back. This is Josh from Raven Tactical, and we're doing a call to arms or a call to attention on what's been going on this week. Um, the biggest thing right now we have is a Republican back gun ban. Um, the sad thing is these Republicans turned their backs on the American patriots. They turned their back on the Constitution. They're turning their backs on the Second Amendment. Um, shall not infringe is pretty clear. But what we're seeing now is the fallout from the NRA's little speech uh, about a week ago when they called for the ATF to do regulations on a bump stock. And the NRA cowardly gave position away to all these people. So now we're looking at uh, kind of a, a hellstorm coming. Um, what I feel is going to happen is there's going to be a large panic because when you have a gun ban coming from the Democrats, you can understand it. It always comes. But when you have it on a Republican side where maybe it's likely to pass, you're going to see panic buying like crazy. So feel free to cancel your subscription to the NRA, your membership dues. Let them know what's going on. They rescinded their little speech that they said the ATF should uh, <clears throat> review or regulate a bump stock. In my opinion, the ATF shouldn't be regulating anything. It's not their right. You know, the Second Amendment is clear. Shall not infringe. But now, <clears throat> now what we're looking at is this. They opened the floodgates. And what had happened is the turncoat Republicans, the ones that are sunshine patriots, the ones that are the rhinos, the people who react on emotion rather than like facts, now started this whole gun ban. And it's bipartisan. And the gun ban is, uh, the number is HR 3999. And what it, states is that it's going to ban anything that is a trigger modification that allows you to fire at a faster rate than standard. And the thing is, there is no standard rate of fire. It's still, it'll ban anything, even though it's one pull per trigger, excuse me, like a semi-auto, semi or one fire per pull. And here's the problem. It opens up the thing for anything that's modifying, including lighter triggers, I mean, anything, lighter triggers for Glocks, lighter triggers for 3-Gun, anybody that's done anything to improve their rifle and do something aftermarket is now going to be considered part of this ban, and it's a slippery slope. There's no, how would I put it, there's no clarification on it, so it's a wide-range shotgun effect on pretty much all semi-automatic rifles. One person also brought it up too, um, the Yankee, I'm trying to think of his name, I'll, I'll put his name in the link, and he brought it up too that a double action revolver could, can, could basically fall under this too. I mean, it's really kind of a slippery slope. This right here is going to be the scariest thing that we've seen, and it caught us from nowhere. It, I didn't see this coming from a Republican side, I honestly thought it would have been the typical Democrat. But there's a lot of Republicans that have switched over, and they just run as Republican only. They're the rhinos. They're the turncoats. They're the worst kind of people that you see out there. They take your votes, and they don't support you. Um, I Honestly, I don't understand what's going to happen with it, because I think maybe with it being bipartisan and having a Republican backing, that there's a good chance that this will pass. And that scares the hell out of me, because... This right here is the only thing we got left. The, the Second Amendment's been gutted, it's been attacked, and it's been chipped away over the last 150 years, 200 plus years. It's been completely attacked, and it's done over all the emotional things. You know, crime. We'll solve crime by getting rid of this and that, and we'll figure things out. It's never come back. The NRA and a lot of the FUD type people that supported them. We're hoping that they would get something in return. If we give you bump stocks, maybe you'll give us Constitution Carry or the Suppressor Bill, which I, I think at one point up to that Vegas shooting, we could have probably seen Constitution Carry and a Suppressor Bill. Now, that's completely gone. It, you'll never see it. So, Constitution Carry out the window. The Suppressor Bill, which is sad, is going to be out the window. They're not going to even come close. And what you're going to see now is a fight for basically the right to own a semi-auto rag rifle. Here's some of the problems too with the bill. The bill has no grandfather clause. It right now states that if you are in possession, 
you have a five-year felony charge. You'll be in prison for five years. It's a felony. You now lose your right to vote. You now lose your right to own a firearm because you own a plastic bump stock or you modified your trigger. Now, here's what the scary side is. You're going to have people turning each other in because I'm sure they'll probably put something up saying, you know, spy on your neighbor, report them in, make a few bucks, neighbor watch, and this. So now you're going to have a whole bunch of people split going against neighbor against neighbor, friend against friend. Maybe they're not your friends, but it, it's just sad. I looked at it and went, you know, when the old joke was, I guess when guns become outlawed, they will become an outlaw. And it's kind of like an old joke, but who would have thought it would have been over this? That you're going to become an outlaw because you don't want to turn in your semi-automatic rifle or you don't want to turn in because you bought a bump stock and it's your money, your rifle, your ammunition, and you're doing it in a safe manner. It's something that's just so stupid to me. But we're going to want to have a call to arms or a call call to attention because you need to call your congressmen, your senators, and you need to actually get political on this. And you can't just sit back and let it go. This is the time to actually get up, get off your ass, forget the NRA. They're not there to support you. I used to back them. I thought they were good people. And they always harassed me and called me for money. And now if they call again, I'm done. They won't see a dime for me for the, forever. I'm going to go with gun Gun Owners of America, GOA, um, I don't see a need for the NRA anymore. They just don't seem to be supporting our rights. They don't seem to be backing anything. And anything and during a crisis, they seem to, f to fall. Um, be careful of certain type of gun owners, the ones that are actually supporting this. If they see that, well, okay, well, we'll don't modify our trigger. You just got to leave it alone. Or don't modify this because I go hunting. You're going to see... A whole list of gun owners that are just going to cowardly take this NRA stance. You're going to see gun channels take the NRA stance, and it's really kind of sad. Um, there's a few um, that I think that are taking a great stance on it. Um, one is Reed Hendricks from pa or Valley Forge, or Valley Ridge, excuse me. I'll post a better little link in there. And you have the Yankee Marshall. I think he's also great. Um... I think Military Arms also put out a really good video on it too, and that explained it a lot, explained it to me at least, and I just want to give those guys a shout out too. Um, I think Mike at Mike's uh, Mike Surplus or Mike Military Surplus, something like that. I'll also post a link for that. Um, anyways, I think right now my my plan for you guys or my plan for myself is this. The AR market or the after, you know the aftermarket for ARs, AKs, all this tactical stuff, you're going to want to buy smartly but not panic, meaning don't overpay, but you're going to want to buy drums, uh, full-size magazines. You're going to want to buy parts kits for all your rifles, for all your AKs. A lot of this stuff is going to dry up. It's going to be similar to the Sandy Hook, but only worse because... People panic by during Sandy Hook, but the sad thing is now with this becoming the possibility of everyone becoming a felon, with the possibility of this actually getting pushed through, it, it's the manufacturers might stop producing, and then they also might, you might see a panic buy from the other side quickly trying to consume all this up too. So you're going to need your rifle, you're going to need ammunition, you're going to need a way to shoot out of it. So. Get, make sure you have magazines. Um, I, buy a bump stock if you can, but just don't overpay. I don't really like price gouging. I understand it's a free market, so go for it. But at the same time, my money is my way to combat the free market. So if you're overcharging, I'm not going to buy from you. Um, just in that note, make sure that you have enough so that if your rifle or pistol goes down, that you have spare parts and spare magazines and plenty of ammunition. Um, I could see this being a turning point because the world we're living in right now is on like a very, very tight fringe where all it takes is a little bit of a powder keg and that powder keg and that spark explodes and then everything goes to hell. So on that note, this is Josh from Raven Tactical and just call, 
call all your senators and congressmen and just give them your ear or give them what give them everything that you got so that you can push this forward we need to not support hr 3999 and on that note um this is raven tactical signing out the hardest day was the day yesterday for training so have a good day thank you